Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to homebrew any 3DS on the latest 11.7 firmware. So keep in mind, this is literally just the homebrew launcher. This is not custom firmware. So if you guys want to do this, the first thing you want to do is just open up your system settings and make sure you're running the latest version. So you can find out what version you're running just by looking right here. As you can see, I'm on 11.7. So now I'm just going to close out of this. And then what you want to do is just make sure your Wi-Fi connection is enabled and you want to go and open up the eShop because there is a free game which we need to get to get the homebrew launcher working. So on the shop what you want to do is just go to the search option right here and we are going to search for Subwars. Just like that, Subwars and then click OK. Now just wait for it to load and I will show you guys the one you want to get. So if you just scroll all the way to the end, it should be this one right here. As you can see, it's completely free. It's had quite a few downloads already, but basically all you want to do is just tap it and then do proceed to download. So then just do next and download. Keep in mind, you will need the space for this on your SD card, but it's not too large in size. So I'm just going to do complete download now and then I'm just going to wait for it to install. Alright guys, so once it's finished you will just get a message saying download complete. You can find the software on the home menu. So make sure you don't update. All you do is just click continue. Now we can press the 3DS home button and we will find this software. So let's just close down the shop. Wait for it to load and here is the new software. So what you want to do is go ahead and unwrap it. Now if you guys had this game before um, or you accidentally updated it, what you want to do is just go into your system settings real quick. Go into data management. Go into Nintendo 3DS. Go into add-on content. And this is where you would delete it. So all you would do is just tap it and then go and delete. Obviously, I didn't update it, so I don't need to do that. So we're now done with that. So we can just go back and back again. And now we can close and exit back to the home menu. And guys, when you launch the software, when you just tap it, make sure you just do launch software. Make sure you don't update it. What you want to do is just tap the screen, then just tap OK. And here you want to select your me character. I've only got one. I'm just going to press A on it to continue. And now that's it. So now what you want to do is just press the home button and just back out again and then just close down the software. So now what you need to do is just tap the smiley face icon right here and then just click on open. This is your friends list and basically guys you want to note down your friend code. So if you just tap your character right here, here is your friend code. Don't bother sending me one because I don't even play my 3DS. But once you've noted down your friend code, I will show you guys what to do over on the PC. We also want to just close out of this and then power off your 3DS. And then you can just remove your SD card. Right guys, so over on your PC, you want to go to the first link in the description, which is the dump your part one. So in here, you want to enter in your friend code. So type it in exactly how it displays on your 3DS, make sure you don't get any mistakes. Then you need to find your IDO folder. So go onto your 3DS SD card, go into the Nintendo 3DS folder, and you're looking for this folder. Now there could be more of them, so what you wanna do, go inside of it, go inside the other one, make sure it has these three folders, then go back to the root of it, and copy this long idea of text. So go to rename, and just do Control C, or right click and copy. Now what you want to do is just go back onto the website and this is where you paste your IDO key. Then just click get my part one. Now what you need to do is just wait for this to complete 
And this thing's really cool because it's going to give you um, like a robot's um, friend request and you will need to add this bot on your 3DS. So I've had to blur mine out because I don't want you guys using the same one that I used uh, just because it doesn't work that way. Right guys, so back on the 3DS, we just want to go ahead and put our SD card in and then just boot our 3DS on. So now what we need to do is add that bot as a friend. So click on the smiley face again to bring up your friends list. Then just click on register friend and then go on internet. And this is where you type in that ID. Then just tap OK when you're done. It's going to say please wait. And now it says your friends with Brandon. So that is the bot that I just added. So now what we need to do is go back on our PC and we can now download the file. You also want to connect your SD card to your PC. Okay, so back on your PC again. Once you've waited two minutes, this screen will refresh and you will be able to download the movable underscore part one. So once you have downloaded that, what you want to do is go to the Steel Miner website, just scroll all the way down um, and you're looking for the GitHub page. So the C Miner GitHub page, just click the link and you will go onto that. And you just want to get the latest release, which is version 2.1. So it is a zip file, so just click that and that will begin downloading. You also want to download and install Python. If you don't have it, just get the latest 3.7.0 version. So once those two have finished downloading, head over to your PC's downloads folder and the first thing you want to do is just install Python. This is a very simple setup process so I'm just going to speed the whole thing up. Basically you just click run next and then the thing will install. Once Python has installed, you can now just close the setup. And what you want to do is go to the releases file, right click it and then select extract here. So now what you guys do once it's extracted you can now just delete the zip file because you no longer need it and you want to get the movable underscore part one and drag it into the releases folder. Now drag the movable part one into the seed miner folder. Go inside of the seed miner folder, hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click in a blank space. Once you've done that it will come up and you will be able to open PowerShell. So just click that option. It's then just going to open up the blue PowerShell window and you're going to enter in some commands in here. So I'll leave these commands probably in the comments or the description, it will be one of them. And you just want to copy and paste the first one in and then press enter on your keyboard. Wait for seed miner to update. And then you want to go and get the next command. So for this one, you will need to find your IDO number, which is the unique number for every Nintendo 3DS system. So I'm just going to go and get mine. It's the one that you used previously in the video, but I'm just gonna go and copy that again. So where it says ID number, just replace it with your IDO number. And now you can just copy the entire line of text. And then just do Control v for paste and press enter. So once that has worked, you need to do the final step, which is to patch all, everything together. So basically you can run this with your GPU or CPU. It's basically just like mining. I'm going to use GPU because it's a lot better. So I'm gonna put GPU at the end, Control v and then press enter. So once it has done, go into your seed miner folder and you will be able to find this brand new file, movable.sed. Right guys, so if you had any problems with PowerShell or it just didn't work, it took forever, make sure you follow the next bit. If you've already done it, then you can skip this. So go to this new website, it's called Brute Force Movable, and what you want to do is you actually want to get your movable underscore part one file. So go into your releases folder, go into your seed miner folder, you can find it in here, just click it and then just click enter, make sure it's part one and not part two. It's then just going to come up with your IDO, you can always check but I know it's right, then tick I'm not a robot and then click go. Now what this is going to do is mine the seed using somebody else's computer, which is really cool. This took me half an hour, which was actually a lot quicker than the PowerShell method. So once it is done, it will come up with this small box. And all you want to do is just click download movable.sed and that will begin downloading. 
So by now you should have your file. So you want to go over to the seed miner website, scroll all the way down and you want to open up that movable.scd file. So click choose file, then browse for it. Mine is in my downloads folder. So just click it and then just click open. Now what you want to do is choose your region. I live in Europe, so I'm gonna select that and then click start. This is then going to give you a save file, which you want to keep. Scroll down to section IV. You want to download the Steelhacks installer. You also want to download the other app payload. And you also want to download the latest version of the homebrew menu. So go to that link you just opened, the other app one, and you want to enter in your 3DS system version. So I've got an old 3DS uh, running 11.7.0. Point, um, I think it was 40 and then E at the end for Europe then I'm just going to click download other app and then that's going to download a file so once that file's downloaded just go to your downloads folder you should have quite a few files now but I'll show you what to do with each one so get the seed hacks installer right click and then do extract here you can now delete the zip file because you no longer need it go to that post file and right click properties then go to the name delete it and type in payload.bin then just click ok now just make sure your 3ds sd card is connected go back to your downloads folder and you want to copy the 3ds and steelhacks file folder to the root of your 3ds sd card they will copy across very fast so just drag and drop now go into the steel hacks folder and delete this file inside. This is where you need to put that new payload.bin file that you just got. So find it in your downloads folder, right click, copy it, and then paste it into the steel hacks file folder. So back on your downloads folder, you now want to copy across the boot. That just goes on the root of your 3DS SD card. Now go on the 3DS SD card, go into the Nintendo 3DS folder, go into the ID, the second ID folder, title folder, uh, this folder right here and now you're looking for the 000d7e folder um, it might have a different command after d7 but it's the same one go into data and you see this save file here this is where you want to put a new one so just open up a new downloads folder find the save file which you downloaded and drag and drop it in and make sure you replace the file So now that is it for your 3DS SD card. Everything is set up. Now you can go back onto your 3DS and I'll show you guys how to get Homebrew working. All right guys, so we're finally back on the 3DS. So what you want to do is just put back in your SD card and then boot up the system. So just wait for your 3DS to load up. Now what you want to do is just tap the software, tap it. Make sure you just do launch software if you update it the homebrew launcher will stop working. And it will now load into homebrew. So yours is gonna be very blank. You're not gonna see most of these files in here. That's because I actually already had some files on my SD card, but that is how you get the homebrew launcher on 11.7. It's actually really cool. Um, this is completely free as well, so do this before it gets patched because there is a possibility that Nintendo could patch it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want some homebrew, rela homebrew related tutorials, I can probably always do that. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.